I wasn't supposed to be out there. The forest at night had a way of swallowing sound and turning every rustle into something sinister. My breath came in sharp panic gasps, each one mixing with the pine scented air. The trees stood tall around me, their branches swaying in the wind. I couldn't shake the feeling that I wasn't alone. I froze. My heart was hammering in my chest. I wanted to believe it was my imagination, that the stories about this place were just exaggerated to keep people away, but there was no mistaking it now. Something was out there, hunting me. I scanned the woods, my eyes darting between the thick trunks, trying to catch a glimpse of whatever was stalking me. The fading light played tricks on my eyes, casting shadows that shifted and moved like creatures on their own. I could feel my pulse racing, and the air felt too thin too cold. I started walking again, faster this time, the leaves crunching loudly. The silence of the forest seemed ominous, like the world was holding its breath. I could hear the sound of my own heart pounding in my ears, drowning out everything else. But then, there it was, a branch snapping somewhere behind me. It was closer. I ran, my legs burning as I sprinted through the forest. The growl came again, Louder, more insistent, I was too scared to look back. My only thought was to get out, to survive. The ground beneath me was uneven, roots and rocks sticking up. I felt like I could have tripped at any moment. I could hear the beast now, its heavy breathing, the sound of its massive paws studying against the floor's floor, getting closer with every step. A sharp pain shot through my side as I stumbled, falling hard with my back exposed to the 50-foot drop behind me. I scrambled to my feet, desperate not to fall off the forest edge, my body trembling with exhaustion, my breath coming in ragged gas. I couldn't keep this up. Suddenly I heard it, a snarl, vicious and terrifying. I turned, my heart sinking as I finally saw it. The creature stood before me, half hidden in the shadows, its eyes glowing faintly in the dim light. It was massive, a wolf. Its fur was matted with mud and blood, showing its teeth in an attempt to intimidate me. For a moment, neither of us moved. My mind raced, but my body was paralyzed with fear. The animal's breath came out in steaming clouds. Its muscles coiled, ready to pounce. I could feel its hunger, its need to kill. Then, with a terrifying speed, it lunged at me. I threw myself to the side just in time. The wolf's body barreled past me and over the forest mountain's edge. My vision blurred with panic, but I could hear the desperate howl of the wolf descend the 50-foot drop. My legs felt like lead as I forced myself to run again, my heart pounding so violently I thought it might burst from my chest. I didn't want to stick around long enough to find out if the wolf survived the fall or not, so I hightailed it out of there. The trees around me blurred together as I sprinted, the sharp, biting air burning my lungs. I found a way out, stumbled across the forest ranger tower. It was the heaven-sent escape I needed.